Regulators play an important role in maintaining safety and fairness in a variety of industries and markets. Regulators can be found in a wide range of sectors. But what do they do? And why are they important for the functioning of a modern economy? In today's video, we will be taking a look at what is a regulator, how they work, and what happens if they don't do their job effectively. Hello, and welcome to another KYC Lookup video where we bring you AML-related content to help you enhance your knowledge in the fight against money laundering. Before diving into today's video, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Oh, and don't forget to leave us a comment with any suggested topics you would like us to cover in the future. So, on to today's video. What is a regulator? A regulator is a government agency or department responsible for overseeing and enforcing laws and regulations within a specific industry or sector. The role of a regulator is to protect the public interest by ensuring that businesses and individuals comply with laws and regulations and by promoting fair competition in the marketplace. Regulators can be found in a variety of industries, including finance, healthcare, energy, telecommunications, and transportation. Each regulator has a specific mandate, which may include licensing and registration of businesses and individuals, enforcing consumer protection laws, monitoring industry practices, and imposing penalties and sanctions for non-compliance. In addition to their enforcement functions, regulators may also engage in education and outreach activities. This may include providing information to consumers about their rights and responsibilities, and offering guidance to businesses and individuals on how to comply with regulatory requirements. How do regulators work? The primary objective of a regulator is to ensure that the industry it oversees operates in a safe, fair and efficient manner. This may involve setting standards and guidelines for industry practices, conducting inspections and audits, and investigating complaints and allegations of wrongdoing. A good regulator works by Establishing rules and regulations Regulators begin by developing and publishing rules and regulations that are designed to promote fair competition, protect consumers, and ensure that businesses operate in a safe and efficient manner. These rules may be developed in consultation with industry stakeholders and may be updated periodically to reflect changing circumstances and emerging issues. Grant licenses and permits Depending on the industry, regulators may be responsible for granting licenses and permits to businesses and individuals who wish to operate in the sector. These licenses and permits may be granted only after certain criteria have been met, such as educational or experience requirements, financial solvency or compliance with safety regulations. Monitor compliance Regulators monitor compliance with the rules and regulations they have established by conducting inspections, audits and investigations. They may also collect data and conduct research to assess the effectiveness of their regulations and identify emerging risk trends. Enforce regulations When violations of regulations are identified, Regulators take steps to enforce compliance. This may include imposing fines, revoking licences or taking legal action against non-compliant businesses and individuals. In some cases, regulators may also work with law enforcement agencies to pursue criminal charges against those who violate regulations. Educate and inform Regulators may also play a role in educating and inform the public about the rules and regulations governing the industry they oversee. 
they may provide guidance to businesses and individuals on how to comply with regulations, offer consumer education programs, and publish reports and data on industry trends and risks. Well-known regulators. Overall, the work of regulators is essential in maintaining a level playing field in many industries and protecting the interests of consumers and the public. While the specific functions of regulators may vary depending on the industry, they all play a critical role in promoting safety, fairness and efficiency in the sectors they oversee. The most well-known regulators are Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC. The SEC is a regulatory agency in the United States that oversees the security markets and protects investors. Federal Reserve System, the Fed. The Fed is the central bank of the United States and is responsible for implementing monetary policy, regulating banks and promoting financial stability. European Central Bank, ECB. The ECB is the central bank for the Eurozone and is responsible for setting monetary policy, regulating banks and promoting financial stability in the European Union. Financial Conduct Authority, FCA. The FCA is a regulatory body for financial services in the United Kingdom and is responsible for protecting consumers, promoting competition and ensuring the integrity of the financial system. China Securities Regulatory Commission, CSRC. The CSRC is a regulatory agency in China that oversees the security markets and protects investors. Japan Financial Services Agency, FSA. The FSA is a regulatory agency in Japan that oversees the financial services industry and promotes financial stability. Australian Securities and Investment Commission, ASIC. The ASIC is a regulatory agency in Australia that oversees the financial service industry and protects consumers. Canadian Securities Administrators, CSA. The CSA is an umbrella organisation of Canada's provincial and territorial security regulators, responsible for regulating security markets and protecting investors. World Trade Organization, WTO. The WTO is an international organization that regulates global trade and promotes free trade by setting and enforcing rules for international commerce. And OFAC. OFAC stands for the Office of Foreign Assets Control, which is a regulatory agency in the United States Department of the Treasury. OFAC administers and enforces economic sanction programs against individuals, entities and countries that the United States government has identified as a threat to national security or foreign policy objectives. What happens if a regulator does not do their job effectively? Regulators play a crucial role in ensuring the safety and stability of various industries and markets. They are responsible for enforcing laws and regulations, monitoring compliance and taking appropriate action against violators. When regulators fail to perform their duties, the consequences can be severe, potentially resulting in financial losses, harm to consumers and damage into the reputation of the regulatory agency. Let's look at each potential harm more closely. Financial losses. One of the most significant consequences of regulatory failure is the potential for financial losses. If a regulator fails to monitor compliance or enforce regulations, it can lead to fraud, market manipulation or other illegal activities. This can result in financial losses for individuals or institutions that have invested in or otherwise relied on the affected markets. For example, in the 2008 financial crisis, regulatory failures in the banking industry contributed to the collapse of several major financial institutions, 
resulting in significant financial losses for investors and taxpayers. Harm to consumers Another consequence of regulatory failure is the potential harm to consumers. Regulators are responsible to ensure that products and services meet certain standards and are safe for consumers to use. If regulators fail to monitor compliance or enforce regulations, it can lead to products that are unsafe or do not meet industry standards. This can result in harm to consumers, ranging from minor injuries to serious health risks or even death. For example, the failure of the US Food and Drug Administration, FDA, to properly regulate the distribution of opioids has contributed to the current opioid epidemic in the United States, resulting in widespread harm to consumers. Reputation damage. In addition to financial losses, the harm to consumers, regulatory failure can also damage the reputation of the regulatory agency itself. Regulators are entrusted to protecting the public interest and enforcing laws and regulations. When they fail to do so, it can erode the public trust in the regulatory agency and the industry it oversees. This can make it more difficult for the agency to carry out its duties in the future, as it may face increased scrutiny, criticism or even legal action. Preventing regulatory failure Preventing regulatory failure requires a multifaceted approach. Regulators must have the resources, authority and expertise necessary to effectively carry out their duties. They must also have a culture of accountability and transparency, where regulatory failures are acknowledged, investigated and addressed. Additionally, Regulators must work closely with industry participants and other stakeholders to identify potential risks and develop effective regulations. In conclusion, if a regulatory failure can have significant consequences for the economy, consumers and the regulatory agency itself, it is essential that regulators carry out their duties effectively and efficiently to ensure the safety and stability of various industries and markets. By having the necessary resources, authority, expertise and culture of accountability and transparency, regulators can help prevent regulatory failures and promote the public interest. Overall, regulators play an important role in maintaining the integrity and stability of various industries and sectors. Through their oversight and enforcement activities, they can help to ensure that businesses and individuals promote a fair and responsible manner and that interests of the public are protected. Well, there you have it. What is a regulator? How they work? And what happens if they don't do their job effectively? Please tell us in the comments section if you think regulators can do more to protect all industries, and what other topics you would like us to cover in the future. We have now launched our very own courses for you to take a more in-depth look at a variety of subjects, such as introduction to AML, beneficial ownership, and customer risk rating, for example. So make sure you visit our website for further details and let us help you connect the dots in KYC. Thank you for watching the video. And if you made it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe to watch more amazing videos.